Oh wow. Oh. Oh, that looks wow. like a European plug. So that's that'd be 220. That's yeah. a lot of electricity going through that. That it just completely melted that power bar. So so to me, that's that's one of two things, right? That's that's either a transient a surge that that caused that to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, or it's, it's just a flat overcurrent, um, that, right. that over time, you know, created enough heat to, to melt that particular, that particular surge strip, or I, I wouldn't even think that's a surge strip that kind of looks just like a power strip. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's another point. I, so there's a, there's a misconception that if, if you buy a power bar that, that, that we've been referring to the whole time we're talking that it has built in surge in the actual power bar. Some do. Mm -hmm. Some do, but others yeah. do not, um, and they're not going to protect you from from transients or surges. Um, you know, make sure that you're reading labels when when you're buying those. Uh, Eaton offers a surge receptacle, which is uh, it's a less bulky version of a surge strip. So it's it's a, a duplex receptacle that has surge built into the receptacle itself. So you mm -hmm. don't have to worry about the long surge strips that that they sell. Uh, next to the electrical equipment in the uh, in, in in your electrical aisles, right? That's a great point. Um, yeah, so those little cheap dollar store uh, power bars that people buy. I mean, I ha in my life, I've I've owned a few until you know I learned about proper power bars. They're not surge protected. It's it's in your best interest to spend a little bit extra money and get get one that is surge protected. I agree. And you know what? On on the topic of that picture. What would you say to someone who has, you know, on the outlet itself, if you have some charring around one of the plugs, obviously that is a, uh, you want that looked into by an electrician. Yeah. You know, over time, um, products have, have the tendency to break down and, and mm -hmm. electrical products as the, the flow of energy goes through them. It's important to, to keep, you know, your mind's eye on, on your, your receptacles, take a look at them. Uh, make sure there's no charring. Uh, if there's a if there's an odor that's coming from your electrical outlet, it's probably caused by by heat or something burning off of of the actual uh, electrical uh, receptacle. So you know, be cognizant of those things. And it's a great time, like I said, as you're pulling out your holiday decorations and you're plugging them into a wall. It's a great time to just take a, a brief moment and and take a look at those and and do a quick inspection. Absolutely. Steve Bowen says, when you guys say power bar, I keep thinking about the protein snack. Don't know if that's a Canadian thing, but I call them surge protectors or power strips. Too funny. Well, <laughs> Steve, Eric's Eric's from the States, so I'm not sure. I Power bar, maybe it's just one of those things like you get lazy over time and you just start making it into your own terms. But uh, when I say power bar, now I'm thinking protein bar, but I'm, I usually think you know, your hungry. power strip. <laughs> You're getting hungry? <laughs> 